It's time for the worshipers to arise in spirit and in truth. We're so glad you're joining us for a very special hope today. Tonight, we're celebrating the end of our 21 day prayer journey. Hundreds of you from Pittsburgh and beyond joined us to lift up our families, our nation, and the world. The whole Hope Today team is here, and we have friends of the ministry here in studio that you see behind me. Plus, Ellie Del Turco is here with music and worship. And we want to encourage you to have an encounter with the Holy Spirit right at your home. Feel free to make your living room a place of worship and an altar for God. Even right now, before we even go into a moment of prayer, begin to invite the Holy Spirit into your home. Just take a moment and say, Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Holy Spirit, you dwell in my heart. You dwell in my home. You dwell in my family. We are looking for an encounter. This is not a show. This is an experience. And we want you to partner with us today because we know where two or three are gathered that he is in the midst. And at any point, if you need prayer, we have prayer partners that are standing by that you can call at any moment during the show, and we will stand in agreement with you at 888-665-4483. Hope Today starts right now.
Spirit, when you move, you make my heart pound. When you fill the room, you're here and I know you are moving. I'm here and I know you will fill me up. Fill me up again. God, fill me up to the overflow, to the overflow. Holy Spirit, come and move and breathe and have your way. Welcome to Hope Today. It's our final day of our 21 day prayer journey. There's been 600 of you that have downloaded the guide and I know many more of you were praying during the program as well, but you have joined us on this journey and here we have the, the culmination and the celebration of those 21 days as we seek the Lord. Now listen, I know Sydney already mentioned it, but I believe God's got something he wants to do in your life, something he wants to do in your family, in your situation tonight. So we have prayer partners standing by. We want you to call. Now, this is a live program at 8 o'clock in the evening on, um, on Monday. And so why don't you call right now and get a hold of a prayer partner and pray. We want to bring those names out here. We want to pray for you out here and believe. Pray for you in there. Pray for you out here and believe for you. We're going to pray together now here on the set. We're going to start uh, with Amy and then Anna will pray and I'll pray. Join us in this time. This is a time to seek the Lord. This is a time to believe God for powerful things. So Amy, I'm going to ask you to start us off. Yeah, man, isn't it such a privilege that we can come boldly before the throne of grace and obtain mercy and favor in time of need. So we're excited that you're joining with us tonight. And the focus of the prayer I'm going to pray right now is for our friends and family and neighbors for salvation in their life. Yes. Will you agree with me yes. right now in Jesus name? Father, we come boldly before the throne of grace. And Father, your word says that I sought the Lord he heard and he answered me. So Father, I thank you as we seek you today, as we ask, as we knock, you will answer, you will hear us. And Father, we are crying out right now for the salvation of our loved ones, of our kids, of our family members, of our neighbors, of the lost. Father, I pray right now, like it says about Lydia, that the Lord opened her heart to pay attention to the gospel. So I pray right now in Jesus name that the eyes of their heart yes, are flooded Lord. with light. God, you send laborers across their path. And I thank you, Lord, that you will open hearts yes, to receive God. the good news, to receive salvation. And I thank you, Lord, right now, many will come from darkness to light in Jesus name. Yes, Those Lord. who are bound will be free. Yes, Father, Lord. we ask you in Jesus mighty name, amen. Oh God, I just lift up to you family relationships, yes, Lord. Lord. We just pray tonight for restoration of where those breaks are, Lord. First of all, I just wanna pray for the hearts of parents who don't have that relationship with their kids or the kids where that relationship is broken with their parents. Lord, I pray that you will rush in like a flood, God, that your comfort would wrap around the hearts of parents and grandparents, that your peace would go there because God, we know you hold the victory, that the victory is already yours, that you stand at the end of this situation that families are facing right now, and you already see how it's gonna work out for their good and for your glory. And so God, we thank you for that. We praise you that you are working in the details of every situation, yes, and we ask God that strongholds would be broken. Yes that truth would come in where lies and deception have been, God, that eyes would be open, that love would penetrate, and that when those relationships are restored, that they would be stronger than ever before, and that all would come and bow before you and give you praise for what you have done in their family. In Jesus' name, we thank you and give you praise. Amen. Lord, we want to pray for your presence today. <laughs> Lord, Moses said, if you don't go with us, we don't want to go. So Lord, we pray for your presence to be here tonight. 
to be with us. Lord, that when we, wherever we go, the presence of God is there. In fact, everybody put your hand over your heart. Put your hand over your heart and say, Lord, let the, the Spirit of God be here. Let my heart be your heart, Lord. Let my heart reflect the heart of God, yes. the love that you have yes. for people, the care that you have for people, Lord, the, yes. the desire you have to move in people's lives and to see their hearts open to you, Lord. Let our heart be like that, Father. Let our heart be like Jesus' heart who even when he was reviled, he didn't answer back, Lord, but he, he knew that he was glorifying you and all that he did. And Lord, we just pray for that, that our hearts would have the presence of God. And we have many people that are calling. We have Sharon that's called in, believing for household salvation. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. We're believing yes. with you, Sharon. Here, guys, why don't you take a few of those? We have Karen has called in for deliverance from addiction. That is something that is completely on the heart of God tonight, 100%, that there would be a Karen that you would receive that freedom from addiction. Hallelujah. Guys, if you want to just share something God's put there. Yeah, so I see that Terrence called in, and Terrence is asking for prayer. Um, uh, I can't quite tell specifically what it is, but Terrence, know that we're praying. We'll find out exactly what your prayer request was on here. And then um, Lorraine called in too, for asking for prayers for the right eye and healing there. And so, yes, we are praying for your healing. We believe yes. that God can touch and make just like new healing from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. Yes, and we thank you, Lord, for Sharon and for Janet right now in Jesus' name. And Sharon is asking that God's dreams will come forth in her life and in her family. So we say in Jesus' name, those God-ordained dreams and plans and purposes for your life and your family will come to pass in Jesus' name. And Father, we ask you make the crooked places straight, rough places smooth. And Father, I thank you, just like a, the great GPS, you'll get us right back on track in Jesus' name. That's right. So please keep calling. Uh, sometimes people wait to the end of the program. But call right now, get prayer there, and let us pray. Ricardo, we're believing for your sister's salvation and for softening of her heart in Jesus' name. Right now, let's worship the Lord again. Here's Ellie again, Ellie DeTurco with One Thirst. You say to us, seek my face. Our hearts reply, your face we
Just take a moment and ask God to fill you in that place, that place where you are empty, that place where you are weary, that place where you are burdened. And if you're joining us right now and you're tuning in, this is a very special program of Hope Today where we're taking a moment to pause, to pray, to intercede, and we truly believe that the Holy Spirit is gonna come right into your home. And you know, at any point during the show, you can give us a call at our prayer line at 888-665-4483. We're gonna take a moment to pray about unity, about a move of the Spirit. We're gonna pray for godly leaders, but so many of you are calling in, and Corey, Angel, and I were here, and we just wanna take a moment just to address some of these prayer requests that are coming in. Dean is calling in, needing spiritual healing and deliverance, and we just, oh, for his brother, physical healing for his father, and we just declare and decree over you, Dean, that right now that the Holy Spirit is moving so deep in the inside of you and he's pulling out roots and pulling out things that are hindering you. We thank you for Audrey, oh God. We thank you, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that you say, Lord Jesus, that by your stripes we are healed. And we pray, Father God, that the Ruach of God, the Spirit of God would go into her lungs and into her breath. Thank you, Father God. We thank you for Ernestine is praying for physical healing. We are standing in agreement for you, Ernestine. And John has COPD. We just pray that the Lord would just touch you. If you are in need of healing, give us a call on our prayer line at 888-665-4483 because we are standing in agreement for prayer. Corey, who's called in? Wow. Listen, we have a call in from Lori. She's praying about Dawn, that Dawn might have leukemia and Dawn's husband is dealing with cancer. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we break the spirit of disease that is over that household in the name of Jesus. That healing would happen, that the Holy Spirit would just begin to break in and marinate and restore that temple in the name of Jesus. We're believing God for Wendy, who's asking for spiritual healing. That God, you would go and you would bridge that distance between her, her and you, God. That there would be just a warm embrace of your presence. Even now, I pray that you fill the household, let your presence go all through this, 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 this ceremony tonight, God, that you would have your way, God. We pray for Daphne, God, a physical healing about IBS, God, again, in the name of Jesus, God, just like you would walk through the cities and begin to heal people, God. They were healed also by the belief and faith, God. Activate that faith tonight to know that God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above what all that we can ask or even think of. And we thank you for Jeannie. God, a physical healing in her body, but also dealing with family problems, God. That is one of the hardest battles that the enemy tries to wage is the battle within the family. I pray that there is unity like never before. As we go into the holidays, for many, it's difficult with family, but God, I pray that there is peace, that there is the, 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 the end of dissension, and you would continually have your way in the name of Jesus. We're believing God for these prayers. Go ahead, Angela. We're praying for you, Stephen, today. We want you to know that God sees you and he knows you and he sees your pain. And we just declare healing from pain that every place of attack would be warded off by the spirit of the living God. We ask that every part of your life would be whole and complete. We're praying tonight with you, Rose, and we're asking God to just arrest you and your husband to bring unity in a new way, that you, he would touch your grandson who is struggling with autism and that every part of your body, soul, mind, and spirit would be filled with the spirit of the living God. We pray for you, Gail, for spiritual healing for Brian, for family problems, deliverance for your granddaughter from alcohol. And we know the God that we serve is bigger than any issue. So today, we remind you and we remind all of heaven and earth that the God we serve is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all you could ever think, ask, or imagine. He is the God of the impossible. So Father, we thank you that every impossible situation that is facing our viewers, every impossible 
situation that seems to oppose them, God, and push them into a corner. We declare freedom. We declare liberty. We declare healing. We declare deliverance. We thank you, Father God, that you are a man of your word. You are not like man that you should lie, nor the son of man that you should repent. So we stand on the promise of your word. We take you at your word, and we thank you that it is established in their life by the spirit of the living God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And I just really sense and feel that I know that the Holy Spirit is moving in this place of spiritual healing, that people are so broken, that people are at the end of their rope, that people are committing suicide, that people don't know if they have that next hit, if they're going to make it. And so I just really sense that God wants us to stay in this place. And so if this is you right now and you are watching and that you feel like you are at the end of yourself, if you feel like you just can't make it another moment, give us a call at 888-665-4483 because even as Angela was praying, I just saw a woman and that you were sitting on your couch and I saw you weeping and I saw you burdened and I saw you so heavy. And right now in the name of Jesus, Father God, we speak to that person, Father God, that's on the other side of this camera, Father God, that is going through an impossible situation, Father God. But we know, oh God, that you are close to the brokenhearted. We know, oh God, I speak right now that Adonai Sabaoth, the Lord of the angel armies, that you would begin to invade, that you would begin to go into homes. Adonai Sabaoth, we call upon your name. We thank you that you are El Elyon. You are the God of the Most High. And Father God, we lift up those right now, God, that feel like they have no hope, but you are the God of all hope, oh God. So we pray, Father God, that you would do a move in our spirits, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that we have crossed over into a new season, that on the Hebrew calendar it is 5784 is the year of the open door. So we're walking out of things that have held us in bondage and things that have held us in captivity, and we're doing a new thing. And even though the enemy might have a target on your back, know that you are victorious because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Stand on that. Stand on the word of God. No, he will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He is with you. And just remember, we are here for you at Cornerstone Television Network. This is why we're doing this program. It is for you because our hearts cry. It's for you. It burdens us. It breaks our hearts. The things that so many of you are walking through that you call us every day. And today we're just stopping to say we love you, we see you, and we're here for you, and we are standing in the gap. So give us a call if you need extra prayer today at 888-665-4483. And now we're going to go back to Ellie Del Turco, and she's going to sing Our Father. Our Father.
that is our heart's cry, is for heaven to come right where you are. And we are so grateful that we are joined by so many of our friends here at Cornerstone Television Network. And I am here with someone you are very familiar with, with Miss Flo, remember from Sister to Sister, but she is a powerful intercessor. And so Miss Flo, just want to ask you, just take a moment to pray what God has put in your spirit. Daddy, we just give you glory and we give you honor. Father, it's such a privilege, Lord, that you would allow us through prayer to petition you. But God, we truly understand that prayer is more about cultivating you, your character in our spirit, Lord God, so that through prayer, there is a greater relationship, a more intimate relationship with you. And because of that relationship, Lord, we become carriers and couriers of your glory. And then God, because of the overflow of your glory, our petitions while we are yet asking are being met because your glory brings change, Lord God. And so, Daddy, I thank you right now for a shift in the spirit. I thank you right now for a portal being open, Lord God, like the Mount of Transfiguration, Lord God. We don't desire to make an idol out of this event, God. We desire to shift the heavens on your behalf. Father, in the name of Jesus, we put a release in the atmosphere daddy and we let every power every principality know that we have authority over you and tonight we are exercising it lord god tonight we are linking our armor together and we are doing a roman tortoise maneuver father god tonight we are rerouting powers and principalities lord god tonight we are putting the, the atmosphere on notice we're putting the enemy on notice this is our city we take it back for god and we turn the battle outside of our city gates. God, tonight we let the enemy know that we together, we put a flight a thousand, but together, Lord, ten thousand, but together we reroute powers and principalities. And Father, in the name of Jesus, I bind and break every spiritual padlock that is over the lives of your people, God. I bind every destiny thief. I bind every destiny killer. I bind every destiny hinderer, Father, in the name of Jesus, that your people would be set free to do what it is that you have purposed them to do. So now, God, I decree that the heaven is open. And what is in the heavens is going to be manifested here on earth. Because your people have taken their position. They have taken authority. They have taken dominion. And we let the adversary know you are not the God of this world. You are not the authority in this world. And we seize the prince of the power of the air with the real authority. And we command that you bow to the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And so, God, we set ourselves in agreement and give permission, Holy Spirit, move. Have your way in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Ms. Flo. It is time for us to know that we are taking territory. We are taking ground. And you know, one thing that is so beautiful about Cornerstone Intelligent Network, this was founded on prayer. There's always been this heart for prayer here at this ministry at Cornerstone. And many of you may not know this, but we have intercessors that still gather together, that come together to pray for this ministry every week. And one of them I want you to introduce you to is Deb Goodman. She is our Director of Human Resources. And so Deb, she's a lead for our intercessory prayer team. Deb, can you take a moment just to pray? Father, we say thank you. Thanks. Thank you for who you are. We thank you, Father God. We know where does our help come from? Our help comes from the Lord. And we thank you and we praise you that we just have to cry out to you. But Father, boldly I come before your throne of grace. And Lord, I want to lift up the children and the teenagers, the enemy who wants to take them. Lord, we say you cannot have our children. You cannot have our teenagers. Father, we thank you and we praise you. They will come to the full knowledge of Christ for every mother, grandmother, father, grandfather who is on their knees, Father God, we know that you would heal 
answered their prayers, that they will come back to you, Lord God. They will know you, Father. And we thank you and we praise you. Every plan and scheme of the enemy, you would reveal it so the parents know exactly what they need to do with their children. Father, we thank you. Your word says you bring up a child the way they should go. When they were old, they will not depart from it. So we stand upon your word that we know that never returns back to you void. We know that it goes out to accomplish what you've called it to do. And your, your desire, your desire is that these children would come to know you. The teenagers would serve you, Father. I thank you for those teenagers that are standing and taking back the ground and saying, no, you cannot have me. No, I will walk upon the path of righteousness for God's sake. I thank you and I praise you, Lord God, that young children, the young children will lead and praise and worship, Lord God. We thank you for what you're doing in our country and restoring them back, Lord God. We stand in agreement that our children belong to you. Our grandchildren belong to you. The teenagers belong to you. The schools belong to you. That everyone in education belongs to you. You would tear down those strongholds in the education system. That our children will be rise up and that they will know the truth and the truth will set them free. So we thank you, we praise you, that we can stand upon knowing that our hope comes from our God. And we bless you and we praise you for it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So, so powerful. You know, I just love when we all are able to come together. And the last person I'm going to ask is, is Kathy Bruno. She's going to pray. She is a dear supporter of this ministry. And we love you and we honor you so much. So can you just take a minute to pray? Amen to that. Yeah. God, you are so good. You mean what you say. Your word is your will. I lose the drawing of our hearts to the word of God, which draws us close to you. How dare we separate the word from your presence? How dare we separate your word from praying our prayers? Help us, Holy Spirit, to agree with the word, which is agreeing with you. I'm asking you, Holy Spirit, as our helper. Boy, do I love that about you. You are so good at that. And boy, do we need you right now. We need you to help us a whole lot. How to pray. What to pray for. You will even help us in our home life, in our workplace, our church life. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for being there always for us. You know us so intimately. You're helping us to pray even right now. You worship you, our intercessor, Jesus. And Father, we give you praise. Thank you for sending us, Jesus. Thank you for not giving up on us. Thank you for giving us the best gift possible. Now help us to give our lives to you fully. In any area of our life, I was listening to Sister Angela earlier and how her witness of her spirit, how she just surrendered her all to you. Help us to surrender without any grief, without any sorrow, without any regret. Not to worry about yesterday, let alone worry about anything about tomorrow. To release our cares over to you, for you're taking good care of us. And I'm believing you for tomorrow, for the best is yet to come. Amen and amen. So right now, I just thank all of the people that have come out today. And we are going to hand it over to Tom and the host team. Thank you, Sydney. Those are some powerful prayers that we're going to continue to pray right now. We've got our, our hosts are here. We're praying for your needs. We're praying for what God lays on our heart as well for you. I just have one quick word. God is telling somebody out there that he likes you. Okay? He loves you. You know that. But you struggle with that he likes me. He rejoices over you. He sings over you. If you're that person, call in and say, I'm the one Tom was talking about because, not because of that, but because God is setting you free right now to know that you are created in his image and he loves you. Angela? Yes. We just pray right now for the spirit of fear. God has not given us a fearful spirit, but he has given us one of the power of love and of a sound yes, mind. Yes, and Lord. so right now we declare yes, for you and we yes. declare over this nation and this world, yes. the spirit of fear, go and let power, love and a sound mind be our portion. We thank you, Father, for a bride who is strong and courageous, who knows her rightful position and who walks in the authority given to her. We thank you for every person watching, every believer that is operating in the spirit of the living God, every place of fear. We speak death to 
and we pray and ask, let the spirit of the living God, the spirit of Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit infiltrate, bring peace, comfort, and power in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I just, I've been hearing the Lord say to the elders, those who have led and those who have led generations upon generations, that there is a special prayer for you to begin to get clarity from God to help the millennial Joshua generation that is rising up. Yes. These younger generation yes. that don't know how to operate in the spirit and don't know how to really trust God and are unsure about this enemy of this time. I pray that the elders who have led the pastors, that they would begin to train and sharpen the younger generation because the time is short and God is transi transitioning the guard. He is, he is passing the baton to the next generation. The enemy has been attacking the children and it is that millennial generation that is going to speak the language yes. of the children yes. to be able to help guide them into your presence. So Father, I pray for any dissension that is in the church, for any, for any mindset that says, hey, we do it better over here and come in this denomination and come in that denomination. God, let us all be one in unity under your spirit. Let there be no segregation. Let there be no ego. Let there be no one who says, who is the greatest among us, Lord? Let there be no one who, who prides themselves in gifts and spiritual gifts, but that we would all surrender to your presence, that we would all surrender you, to your kingdom. We work for one kingdom under your mighty name, God. And I pray in the name of Jesus that those elders would reach back and help those young people and train them to, to go forth in the war of tomorrow that is happening in our lives right now, that they would be equipped with the knowledge and the wisdom and understanding of how to manage God's work. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. I'm thinking of the one at home today who is barely holding on to hope, that you have been waiting to see the fulfillment of a promise of God for so long that you wonder if he's even working, if he even sees the situation, if he even remembers. And I'm telling you that even when you're barely holding on to hope, he is the God of hope and he is holding on to you. He is holding on to your situation. And in, in Isaiah 61, it talks about how he will pour out the the pour out praise instead of a spirit of despair he'll pour out the oil of praise that he is the restorer the repairer of walls that he will build you up that he will make you new that he will take all the wrong things and make them right that he will break off the chains that he will heal the things that are broken he will take the things that are darkness and take it into the light that is who our god is so give him praise and continue God, we stand on your promises and we trust you and believe you. Jesus' name. And right now, I just pray for everybody that is suffering a loss in this season. Um, you know, Cheryl wrote in and she said, my cat just passed away. You know, and I recently had my best buddy, my doggy of 12 years pass away. But maybe you're going through a divorce and you feel that loss of a covenant relationship. Maybe you own a business and you feel a loss. Something didn't go right. So, Father, we pray right now in Jesus' name. And I just declare that you are our portion. You fill our cup. You fill our lives. Holy Spirit, you are the great comforter. You are the yeah. great restorer. And Father, I just thank you that everything that the enemy meant for bad, that you'll turn it around for good, God. And I just speak so much life and hope and peace and comfort in Jesus' name. Father, give them a way out from the darkness, Father, so that they can live that life full of, of you and joy and peace in yeah. Jesus' name. You know, Amy, as you're just talking, I just really sense that as you've been watching this whole program and we've been praying, I think it's time for you to do some activation in your home and start worshiping the Lord. Just put your hands up and just start singing a song unto the Lord. No matter what you're going through, I know in the fiercest battles of my life, yes. it is when I get on my knees. It is when I give all glory and honor and praise to the Lord. The joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Yeah. And you stand on that 
weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And we declare and decree that the joy of the Lord as you begin to dance, as you begin to sing, as you begin to lift up your hands and say, God, I trust you. And you've made out a praise in your heart. Let your worship arise. <laughs> Just let your worship arise. Yes. And the yes. only one who is deserving of our worship is the King of Kings, and the Lord of Lords, and that's the Messiah, Yeshua. Let's go to Ellie as she sings that song. Yeshua, Jesus, there is no other name, and he is who we are here to talk to today. I'm right here with some amazing intercessors and prayer warriors, and I'm going to ask right now that Michelle, who is a longtime friend and partner and makeup artist here, to pray. Will you do that, Michelle? <laughs> Heavenly Father, we just come before you, Jesus, and I, I thank you, Lord. I thank you for the relationship that you are willing to give us through you, Lord God, that we are able to come to you, Lord God, with our needs, with our praises, with our requests, Lord God. And tonight tonight has been just an amazing night, Lord Jesus. I just, I just hope that, you know, the people listening out there, that they know that you are hearing them and that your hand is at work in their life, Lord God. So I just to ask, Lord Jesus, I ask that you touch the afflicted, Lord Jesus. I ask that you touch the addict. I ask that you touch the codependent, Lord yes. God. I ask that you touch the brokenhearted, Lord God, the, the one, the adulterer, the adulteress, Lord God. I just ask that you touch everybody out there, Lord Jesus, and let your name be known, Lord yes. God. Let your works be known, Lord God, because we need you. We yes. cannot do life without you, Lord Jesus. I'm just so grateful that... Um, 
that what what you have I've seen you've done in people's lives and that you are continuous over and over again, Lord God. I just ask that, Lord God, we seek your purpose, Lord God, and not to just seek a life of pleasure, Lord God, because I know, Lord, whenever we seek your purpose, you will give us a pleasure that we will thirst no more of, that we will thirst no more. It is you, Lord God, that we lift our hands up, we lift our eyes up, and we lift our hearts to you. Fill us, Lord God. I pray this in Jesus' name. Fill us. So good. Man, aren't you glad that he is the God of the breakthrough? And breakthrough, we believe, is happening for you and your family and your loved ones right now. Right now, in Jesus' name. I'm coming over to a fellow sister, powerful woman of God. I mean, look at her. Will you pray, Doretta? Just whatever God has on your heart. Yes, yes, yes. Father God, just coming to you this evening in this place in repentance of every sin known and unknown. Father God, we just thank you because you're so faithful. You're faithful. Fall fresh in this place, Father God. Touch each and every one that is a viewer in the audience, Father God. Right now, Father God, that the enemy thinks he has them, but he has not the generational curses, the iniquitous issues in the strongholds are broken Amen. tonight yes. in the name of Come Jesus, in the name of Jesus and fill that place in that space with your Holy Spirit yes. rising up in them. We yes. are forces to be reckoned with. We are giving the enemy yeah, notice. No the children are God or are rising. We are linking yes. arm in arm in one accord Woo. in unity. We say we belong to Jesus. We belong to Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Father God, yes. for what you're doing in the earth right now. No matter what the fleshly eye would try to tell us what we see, we know you're in control. You are on the throne, and all things work together for your good. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In the precious, powerful, matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Hey, listen, give us a call right now. If you are believing that strongholds are being broken yes. in your family, in this city, in this nation, give us a call. Now, Larry, you're a precious man of God, a wonderful intercessor. Will you pray for us right now? Father, we thank you for what you have done tonight as we have pierced the powers of darkness through the second heavens and the warring angels have taken over of god and everything is in your courts right now we thank you for every request that's on that table we thank you for all that was said throughout this whole program we thank you lord that you're going to do exactly what we requested we just praise you and thank you we we, we thank you for even we we lift up the government of this country we lift up the government of this state and we need statesmen and people who are going to be righteous people to be yes. put into office. Yes, and I know the time keeps marching yes. on on this earth, but you know the hour and the times are getting shorter and shorter. And we know the enemy is trying his hardest to try to put us down, but he's, he's not going to win. He is a defeated foe. We thank you, Lord, that that cross on, the, on that hill, your blood is the most powerful thing upon this earth. It covers every square mile on this 8,000 mile diameter of this earth. No matter from the far as the east is from the west, your blood covers this. We thank you, Jesus, that we have the power that's in it in us, the Holy Spirit, to, to, to overrule the enemy's thwarts and attacks. We thank you that we stand in the gap for yes. each and every government Ooh. official, and they must Start doing the things properly. With, with according to, this country was founded on the word of God, 1607. Lord, they dedicated this country for you. And they're trying to steal it away from us. It's got to stop right now in Jesus' name. It's going to stop because we're going to have officials going to turn this country around. Thank, you're going to turn around. Yes. There's going to be fire of Holy Spirit revivals coming. We thank yes. you, Lord, for that revival. It is coming. Jesus. And it, we are, we are the gateway to the West, Pittsburgh. Yes. Pittsburgh. Thank you, Let's Lord go. Chief. We got, we got the word that it's going to happen, and it's going to start here and now in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. I love it. Larry, thank you. 
Listen, that's a word for you. We are standing in the gap for you. And remember as we're continuing in prayer that God is faithful. He hears you when you pray and he loves you like crazy. Yes. Never forget yes. that. Tom, let's go to the altar. Let's keep praying. Thanks, Amy. Yes, let's keep praying. I'm going to ask the team to join me over here at the altar if everybody could come over. I just have a scripture for you that I want to share. It's one that you know. It's one that you've heard many times, but I think it's so key tonight. It's Psalm 100, verses 4 and 5. It says this, Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name, for the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Now that's when we're coming in. You know, we're, we're coming into the, the, uh, to the sanctuary. We're coming into times of prayer. But when we go out, he's with us too. Think of when they sent the singers first into battle, right? Jehoshaphat sent them. And, and you know, I, I even though I, I looked it up, what they said, they didn't say defeat our enemies. They just said this, give thanks to the Lord. His faithfulness, his faithful love continues forever. That's what they prayed. So we're just going to close out here. You can call. You can call anytime. Get a hold of a prayer partner. We're going to close out. I'm just going to ask, uh, guys, just lead out as you feel led. Corey, I'll just start with you. We just have a few minutes left. We just want to lead out and pray. Lord, I thank you. Specifically, God, I hear God saying, for the men, the men to come back into the families, to come back into the yes. structures because there is an authority that is under attack. The enemy is trying to attack men specifically. So I speak to every son who is called by God that you would return to your post. You would return to the wall. Yes. You would return yes. to the wall of your family. You yes. would return to your position because the, the, the enemy is trying to disperse the family. But man of God, I speak to you right now in the name of Jesus by the authority in my voice that you would return to the call that God has put on your life and that there would be healing amongst the sons and the fathers, the uncles, the grandfathers, all across the world and the nation in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you today for the testimonies that are going to roll in here. God, we thank you that by your yes, hand, Lord. in your hand, through your hand, God, all things will be accomplished. Every word that you have declared, God, will not return void. So we thank you that you are the watchful God who watches over your word to perform it. And we count it done in Jesus' matchless name. Oh man, I just feel like we need to be lifting our voices to God, that we need yes. to declare his praises. The child of God, we do not have to have our eyes cast down, but have our eyes looking up to who our big mighty God is. We do not need to be discouraged. We do not need to fear because we serve the God who is over everything, who holds all the details in his hand and he has gone before us and he holds the victory. The battle belongs to the Lord God and we give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' name. And even as we celebrated Rosh Hashanah yeah. a couple of days ago, yeah. the Jewish New Year, this is what the Feast of the Trumpets, where they're going to eat apples yeah. dipped and drenched in honey. We just pray right now for a newness in your life, a new season, a fresh start. And we just pray the scripture, Psalm 65, over your people, God, that you crown the year with your goodness and that their path will drip with abundance. We just speak great abundance into your heart, life, home, family, finances, marriage, career, everything. Your year is crowned with the goodness and the sweetness of God in Jesus' name. Oh, we, the sweetness, the goodness of God. And, you know, when you were talking, Amy, like that was what God was putting my spirit about. We are in 5784, it's the decade of 80, pay means mouth. And this is the year that there's life and death and the power of your tongue. But if you know that Hebrew word power actually means the hand, it means the hand. So what you speak is literally like the hand of God. So this year, this season, speak, be careful what you say, but align yes. your tongue, align your mouth, align it with the word of God. God magnifies his word above his name. Hold on to that. And we are so grateful that you joined us for this hour of prayer, of intercession, of worship. And we declare and decree that this is going to be the best year yet. Walk through the open door God has for you. 
On tomorrow's Hope Today, striving to reach 100 million children with the gospel. Moises Estevez of Child Evangelism Fellowship shares how his organization is presenting the gospel and training adults worldwide to reach more children for Christ. That's tomorrow on Hope Today. Cornerstone Television wishes to thank all our faithful viewers whose consistent prayers and financial support have made this program possible.